There were no Colt 45s, no Astros up until 1960, only the Houston Buffaloes, a minor league affiliate of the St. Louis Cardinals, the likes of Dizzy and Daffy Dean once competing at 8,000-seat Buff Stadium that's right near modern-day University of Houston. But Judge Roy Hoffines changed things. After attending the owners' meeting in 1960, Houston was awarded a National League expansion team, what you may know as the Colt 45s. Quickly, they became one of the more colorful franchises in all of baseball. Ushers at Colt Stadium were known as the Triggerettes, parking lots designated as Wyatt Earp Territory, the Stadium Club, a Gunsmoke-themed saloon replica dubbed the Fast Draw Club. Finally, professional baseball had arrived in Houston. But as the Colt 45s began, attention turned to a futuristic stadium. In 1962, ground was broken on the Harris County Dome Stadium. In 1964, Judge Hoffines announced the Colt 45s would become the Astros, and the first of its kind stadium would be named the Astrodome. Keeping in line with the city's burgeoning space program and its reputation, as Space City. In 1965, the Astrodome opened for the first time. Hoffines equipping the dome with luxurious skyboxes, a brightly colored seating bowl, and a scoreboard for the ages. But what about the team itself? In the first three seasons, the club won 196 games and lost 288. The team didn't make the playoffs until 1980. The 1970s marked mostly by a trade that sent Joe Morgan to the Reds. A trade some feel propelled the Reds to two World Series titles and won the doom the Strohs in the decade. 1980 saw the Astros get to the playoffs for the very first time. They won their first National League West title after defeating, ironically, the Los Angeles Dodgers in a one-game playoff in the 163rd game of the regular season. In 1981, Nolan Ryan threw the fifth of his seven no-hitters as a member of the Astros. In 1983, Ryan surpassed Walter Johnson as the all-time strikeout king. In 1986, the Strohs made the playoffs again and lost to the Mets in the National League Championship Series. But that season forever will be remembered by Mike Scott's no-hitter to clinch the National League West, the first in Major League history to be thrown in this situation. Scott won the Cy Young Award that year. The 1990s saw several Astros playoff appearances. A team led throughout the decade by Jeff Bagwell and Craig Biggio, who earned the nickname the Killer Bees. But the team could never break through, and the 90s ended with a more significant end, the closing of the Astrodome. That was followed by a move to their new downtown ballpark, originally named Enron Field. A name change would follow to Minute Maid Park, along with the team's first ever trip to the World Series in 2005, a sweep at the hands of the Chicago White Sox. In 2007, franchise favorite Craig Biggio joined the 3000 Hit Club. A slew of really bad seasons started in 2011, including three straight years where they lost 100 games. The team shifted leagues and finally, 55 years after the franchise debuted, they broke through, bringing the World Series trophy to a town when it needed it the most. World Series champion! I tell you what, I have been doing this a long time, but this was one of the greatest postseasons when you think about all it took to get this done for the Astros. And these Astros are world champs.